Famrip's Pokemon, it is October 2024, so no better time than to dive into this year's Pokemon Trick or Trade Booster Bundle. I got the 80-pack version here from Sam's Club. Believe that there's 30 cards in a master set. So we're going to open all of them, but first take our time and see how many packs uh, it's going to take to get that first master set. And then I'll speed it up and we'll see how many we finish with here. Let's go ahead and dive right in. I'm pretty excited. We've uh, only been into Pokemon now. This will be like our second, I guess, calendar year. So I uh, never really dove into these. Um, prior to that, the kids always had some, you know, when they went trick-or-treating. All right, so we've got 40 packs here. Uh, I believe it's three cards. And uh, let's see. Let's see how many it's going to be for a master set. First, we've got a cool little Litwick. Gengar. First pack magic. And a Pumpkaboo. Now... I am a little curious here. This is showing 77 of 82. Are we gonna have to get real creative with this master set? Okay, well now I'm confused because we've got weird, it's like reprints, I guess, from previous Sword and Shield sets, but let's go in, here we go. We've got a Lampant, that's a new one. Dark Rise, a new one. And a fake Pokemon, all right. Chandelure, that is a new one. Simistitch, and a Grievard. So, so far, three packs, three different or not had Pokemon yet. I think we're getting close here. Few Coco, so I assume we've got the starters in here. Teal Mask in the second spot, and Houndstone. So we still don't have a duplicate. All right, did some rearranging there, so hopefully y'all can see it a little bit better there. We've got Iron Jugulus, Monkey Dory, and a Scream Tail. So we're still not hitting any duplicates yet. Am I mistaken? Are there way more than 30 cards? I believe in uh, versions before. Ghastly, that's a new one. And Quaxly. There's our Haunter, so we've got that line completed. Okie dokie, and a Phantom. All right, keep having to rearrange here so we can see what we've got. Uh, moving on here, we've Hound Doom. That's a new one as well. There's the Pikachu, Pika the Rika, and a Trevenant. We ate him from Evolving Skies, I believe is the Devastation. It's either Evolving Skies or Fusion Strike. I think it's Evolving Skies. Trevenant was just the... Umbreon, why not? Fluttermane and a Poltergeist. So looking here, I still don't think we have any duplicates. All right, keeping her moving. Houndor, I think we may have it now. Mimikyu and Sprigatita. Now what I'm curious about is it seems like we just opened those in order. Are they, I don't want to say batched, but are they, nope, Litwick, there's a duplicate, into Gengar, into Pumpkaboo, wow, so these are batched, y'all, if I'm not mistaken, that's absolutely wild, that's the one we got last time, here's a Lampant, a Darkrai, and I, I'm almost positive this is the exact same order. Chandelure, Cinestitch, and a Grieve Art. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up, see if we complete our second master set with the exact same amount of packs here. All right, y'all, so we really, um, I was gonna open all of them, but don't really have a reason to. Um, kind of confirmed I don't want to say they're batched, but we definitely opened the same amount of packs in the same order that they came in and got our second master set outside of one card. So who knows? Leave down in the comments. What do you think? There she is, the Umbreon. We only were able to pull one out of two master sets, quote unquote. But uh, other than that, no duplicates. So we have two of everything and one Umbreon after opening 
I want to say 25, 30 packs in order. So with that said, what do you think? Are they going to be worth anything? Is Umbreon a chase set? Should I have gone and opened the rest of them? If not, trick-or-treaters, you know what you're getting here at the uh, Fam Rips Pokemon House.